guys, fabulous Mr. Fox here. I'm back at Indie PopCon again for the 2016 showing. And again, I get to talk to Mike hey. from Cobalt Pulsar. They do the Dodeca system. We haven't got that on the show just yet, but we did do a video on their card game Hipster, which uh, I own everything for until <laughs> the new set comes out. Yes. And is that still on the Kickstarter right now? Kickstarter is going through today, uh, Sunday. We will have that up. It actually ends, I think, right at midnight. And then that is Teenage Wasteland, the new standalone expansion for it, which introduces new cards and new goals and everything to the game. It's 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 a lot of fun. That is very exciting because it is a lot of fun. We've been playing this. We've played this a bunch since we got it and just had an absolute blast with it. And I'm really excited to hear about new goals. Yes. That's the... Sorry? Well, the main game itself, you get three cards in the center, which I can showcase the three here. It's lovely having a demo table right here at the con. And then your, those goals will switch and change from your uh, goal deck as the game plays through. And the normal goal of the game itself is to get these three goal cards in front of you to win the game. But the card, the, um, the new secret goals will introduce all kinds of new mechanics to the game. Like right now, I don't know if you can see this, there are threes across the top of all the cards here. There is a secret goal in the game that's getting introduced called Magic Number, which if it's all threes across the top and you play your card, you win. Oh, you wow. don't even have to match the cards at all. <laughs> so it's new ones that say if there's all trinkets, all fashion, all the same number, and then there's one I think that's getting introduced that's, yes, that's if you play three of the instant Greek cards in a row, if they get played, you can play your card and win the game. Wow. And then just walk right out of it. So now you have to not only pay attention to what people have in front of them, but what's going on in the center, and really plan your strategy accordingly. I was going to say, so you have to strategize to sometimes, if you think if you see all three of them just in case yep. somebody has that magic number, you have to, to kill one out. of them, yep. even if that's going to slow you down. Yeah, it helps to uh, disperse the arms race that tends to happen at the end of the game where everyone's storing up their cards like, oh, you're about to win, I'm going to kill this and this and this and try and go, nope, now you have to see whether or not you want to burn ammo early just to stop a possible win. Also, if you want to see an example of exactly what he's talking about, check out our playthrough that we did last year where I got to play with uh, one of the one of your uh, co-workers, co-creator? Co-creators, yes. You played with uh, Zet and with Bex, uh, both of whom were in the demo game with you. Yes. Yeah. Now, you told me uh, something. Again, that's on Kickstarter right now. By the time this video comes out, that Kickstarter will probably be closed, but I imagine you guys will have uh, a chance for them to pick stuff up through maybe back kit or we are going to have the, um, that one available probably online through our online store at cobaltpulsar.com and then we will have uh, editions of it available at Gen Con along with our next game that we're going to be putting out a boasting and lying game called Dost Thou Deceive Me that will be coming out at the same time in time for Gen Con ah okay well I'm yeah. gonna we're gonna be at Gen Con there you go. Um, so I will definitely be around to check that out Absolutely. we can run a demo of it then hey yeah <laughs> plus I mean if we're looking down in the future a bit, then we have a zombie game coming out, and we're going to have um, potentially another hipster down the road, depending upon how the next one sells. And then we're looking at doing uh, new books for the RPG. So 1.5 is going to be coming out probably February, March of next year, I think is when we're going to launch the okay. Kickstarter for that. That one introduces, I mean, the original book had about eight races. That one's going to up the number of initial races to 12, and if the Kickstarter does well, it takes it to 24. It introduces two new classes. It introduces a whole new set of powers. Every class is going to have its own specific active power as well as shared what we call latent powers with everyone. Okay. So it add, like the warrior is now going to be able to cause bleed damage uh -huh. and um, the zealot, who's a new class, he's okay. going to be able to lay down fields of anti-magic on the field. Huh. It's going to add all kinds of new strategy to the game itself. The whole game has been redone, re-expanded. The book itself is twice the size of the original. It's amazing, but it really does everything that people want the game to do. What that does is make me feel a lot less bad about us not having had a chance to review that on the show yet. Well, we're not going to stop supporting 1.0. There's okay. a lot. It, it, think about it. The way I describe it is think about like back when AD&D 2nd Edition was out, they had Dungeons & Dragons and Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. 1.0 is a simpler game. It okay. doesn't have as much of all the rules, although not that 1.5 is going to be super rules heavy. That's not the way we do things. But it's slimmer by comparison. So if you want to just play a quick 
quick, fast game, or you really just like 1.0 better, okay. we will continue to support it, continue to have the character sheets online. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and then we'll have 1.5 out, and for those people that are looking for a deeper experience that want to be able to do more with their game, it's there for them. So, like, there's a game in this book, and there's a basic game in this book. <laughs> More or less, yes. At least until we decide to eventually, five years from now, do 2.0 and kill everything at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Just World of Darkness, the whole thing. Yeah, Just set it on Blow it up and move it on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so we've been talking to Mike from uh, Cobalt Pulsar, Dudodeca System, about their new game, Hipster, about their upcoming stuff, a whole bunch of stuff, stuff I didn't even hear about yesterday. That was really, so you got to see me excited about it today. <laughs> so thanks so much. Thank you so much. For talking with us. Absolutely. It's and always good to see you guys. Yeah, you guys have a great rest of the con. You too. Thank you.
again. Thanks so much.